Hi everyone, it's Julia Yarbo and welcome to Julia Yarbo Media Group where I try to focus on storytelling and individuals who are just doing amazing things, whether it's business, personal, philanthropy, environmental work, whatever it is, I like to highlight folks that are doing something great. So this morning, I would like to introduce you to my guest, Lydia Lopez Astroff. She is the creator of a new product that she says will help all of us sleep a little better and look better. Lydia, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Jula, for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Um, I'm looking forward to talking to you about the Sleep Goddess Age Defying Beauty Pillow. All right, so that title alone, Sleep Goddess Age Defying Beauty Pillow, that's a mouthful. Tell me about your product. Well, the Sleep Goddess Age Defying Beauty Pillow is actually a pillow for side sleepers who experience face smashing when they wake up in the morning. These are lines or creases that um, eventually go away as the morning goes on, but actually they can become permanent. Okay, face smashing. I do not at all like how that sounds. So how does your pillow prevent that? Well, the design of the pillow is actually an impression in the center and it's um, an impression or an indentation which allows the, the sleeper to actually lay their head with the forehead getting most of the um, weight and the chin and that indentation gently covers the eye area. It cradles the eye area. So, okay, so I've seen dozens of pillows. I go to the store, I try to find one that's gonna work for me and you, designed your own pillow. How did that come about? I mean, I can barely even sew a button and yet you say you've created a pillow. Tell me about that. Well, in 2016, I started the idea after purchasing an organic, all organic bed, I decided that I needed a pillow to match the, the beautiful bed. And I wanted it to be organic and natural and sustainable. So I started working on the pillow um, and the owner of the shop actually uh, mentored me in the bedding in, in the bedding industry to create a pillow. So I ended up creating this pillow. It took 48 versions wow. because I wanted to make sure that it was perfect for the for the person that was going to sleep on it, and that it did what I exactly what I had expected it to do, which is to prevent the morning wrinkles by that special. Um, area that will actually prevent your eye from smashing against the pillow. Okay, but I'm I'm blown away by this because again, I, I don't know how to sew, I can barely thread a needle. So where did you have the wherewithal to be able to say, okay, I don't like how I'm sleeping. I don't like the face smashing as you say. And then you take it from this idea to something you've created. How did you go about doing that? Well, I come from the fashion industry. So my technical skill is pretty, pretty, um, pretty good. I can take something from concept to finished product. And so that's always been my, my, um, my, my curse, I guess, or my val <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a curse because I always want to create things. I always have to see how something works and I don't, I'm not satisfied until it's finished. So I ended up with this pillow concept the first versions looked ridiculous, but as I kept going, I realized what I really wanted. And um, what I ended up with was, is actually a beautiful pillow, beautiful, sustainable pillow. It's a shaped pillow, so it's soft. It has curves like a woman and has a gentle shoulder curve. It's um, made with the best um, organic materials, both the cotton 100% organic knit wow. and then the inside is crumbled latex, which is very healthy for you, anti mites. And okay, this is not something I wanna hear when I'm talking about sleeping and pillows. Tell me a little bit about that connection. Well, as you know, the body sheds a skin as we sleep and mites feed on, on the skin. Mm. Um, when you actually sleep on a silk pillowcase, which my pillow does actually come with a silk pillow, case that is shaped like the pillow that allows you to sleep without with antibacterial it's antibacterial it is anti-mites um it's just a very healthy product to sleep on now we have just 
come through, you know, 2020 was rough for everybody. We've had the pandemic, you know, a lot of people going out of business. And yet here you are creating something and launching right as we are, you know, coming out of that. How did that process work out for you in terms of launching a business? You know, why now? And what does this mean for you as a female entrepreneur? Well, I feel like the beautiful silk um, case and the beautiful pillow, the sleep goddess age defying pillow is actually a bit of luxury for women who need to have a little, a little space in their boudoir where they can take a nap and rest their beautiful head on a beautiful pillow to, to make them feel good about themselves and feel, um, take that time to pamper themselves. And Lord knows after this year, we, we need some of that. So what next? I mean, you've got your product, you have a market out there who doesn't want face smashing. Where can we get your pillow? What comes next for you? What's the vision? You can get um, my pillow at sleepgoddess.net and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The next vision would probably be a lounge, um, a silk loungewear line called Sleep wow. Goddess Loungewear. Uh, and in between that, I might, I will be doing a pillow for little girls. I have a nine-year-old daughter that sees everything I do and <laughs> wants it. And she wants to be a part of it. So she's been in one video already. My new BFF, the Sleep Goddess Pillow. Happy Easter! But she will definitely be in, you know, more of the videos wow. for this particular product called the Girl Goddess. We need to tell young girls that they need to be pampered. They need to take that time. And in this world that we're living in, so stressful, I think it's at a very young age, we should teach them to be, um, pamper themselves, take care of themselves. They have to be first. Wow. She must absolutely just be beside herself watching her mom do all of this and making it happen. And one of the things that you just mentioned uh, to follow you on Instagram, and I know the social media world is just so insane right now of keeping up with everything. And here you are launching a product and pretty much handling a lot on your own. What, would, what advice would you give to other young entrepreneurs out there or middle-aged entrepreneurs about just going after your dreams and, and your vision? What would you say to them? Well, there's no time like the present um, to launch something that you're passionate about, something that you love and to do an e-commerce site. It, there's a lot of learning involved with all the social media and so forth, but it makes you feel so empowered is the word. And I feel empowered now that I have this, have launched my, my sleep goddess age defined beauty pillow. Wow. Well, Lydia, I am excited for you. I love seeing women who are creating and building businesses and paying it forward, so to speak. So thank you so much for joining me here on Julia Yarbo Media Group. I appreciate it. And any final words of advice for anybody out there who just is having a rough time getting a, a good night's sleep? The Sleep Goddess AG Fine Pillow will help you sleep so much better. It's a small luxury for the women who really deserve it. Side sleepers, please think about this pillow. All right, Lydia, thank you so much. And we will all be following along to see what happens next with the Sleep Goddess Age Defying Beauty Pillow. Best of luck to you. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Julia, for having me and take care. All right, everybody, that is it for us here on Julia Yarbo Media Group, telling stories that make a difference, that impact our communities and highlighting some of the different people who are just doing great things in our communities. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll check you later.